so now I'm going to move on to problem two of Boyce and Oprima, section one of chapter one. So we have y prime equals 2y minus 3. So it asks to plot the direction field and determine the behavior of y as t goes to infinity. So we start by drawing our, sorry, yeah, we start by drawing our y t axes. I'm still getting used to this new drawing software. So our y t axes and we start by saying what values of y would make our slope 0. So 0 equals 2y minus 3, 2y equals 3, y equals 3 halves. So we come over here to 3 halves and we plot our direction field with slope 0. So these are all going to be horizontal slopes. Okay. So now as, what happens as y gets larger? Well, as y gets larger, that means that this part's going to get larger, and the uh, overall derivative will become p more positive. So we start sloping up, more up, more up, more up, and then nearly vertical as time goes on. So something like that. And again, accuracy is not really as important as the general idea of what's going on with this direction field. A computer can be used for accuracy. So also as I get as y gets smaller, this negative three will become more important and we start going in the negative direction. So let's consider what happens as t goes to infinity. Well, we start at 3 halves, right? But as we go off to infinity, you can kind of see how these slopes, they kind of want to push the arrows you know, these up that way. So it diverges. And we can say it diverges from 3 halves. And what that means is that it goes away from 3 halves. So if I'm on this side of 3 halves, it goes to negative infinity. This side of 3 halves, it goes to positive infinity. So that is the solution to problem 2 of chapter 1, section 1, Boise de Primo.